All right, let's get some closure here from over the weekend because I don't even know how you would handle this most. So you get down on a knee, right? You propose, and she's like, you know what? That's cute. Let me get back to you on that. <laughs> I mean, at that point, I think, I don't know if I could recover from that. I don't know if I could either, and that's why he needed some opinions from us because they were together for a few years, and he believed the relationship to be pretty solid. Solid enough that he was certain that he should get on a knee and propose, which is what he did, and her response was not a yes. It was more like a, she needed time to process the information and think about it. And so two weeks have gone by since then, she has not brought it up. She has not mentioned it. She is treating it as if it has never happened. So now he's confused on if he should bring it up or even consider the possibility of walking away because he doesn't want to be pushy. But at the same time, he's feeling a little rejected and disrespected. So Kristen and I weren't here on Friday. So let's debate this if just in case you I'm sure you guys did. But I'm wondering, like, when do you when are you supposed to bring it back up? Or if she doesn't bring it up, you just got to assume it's a no, right? No, you do not assume it's a no. You bring it back up. I would assume it's a no. I don't think my ego would have let me bring it back up. Once you tell me you got to think about it and if you never bring it up again, yes. then I'm never bringing it up again That's either. so rude. It, well, it's rude not to, it's rude to bring it up or no, rude not rude. to answer. It's rude to say I need a moment to think about it and then to never bring it back up. Yeah. Right. No, like she's, if she doesn't bring it back up, that is rude. You were asked a very important question. You needed time to think. At some point, you need to revisit said question <laughs> within a reasonable amount of time. And I'm talking like 24, 48 hours yes. and be like, either A, I'm still thinking, I need some more time or give a legitimate answer. How long was it that she had an answer? Two weeks. Two weeks. No, no, no okay. that's so rude. <laughs> yep. But my thought was that if she answered, because my thinking is she's not ready to get ans- uh, married, so the answer is no, but she knows if she says that, the mm-hmm. relationship is kind of ruined mm-hmm. and- and he might leave. So by just not answering, you can pretend everything's fine and you can continue on as you were without hurting feelings. No, you can't. It's worse, actually. I'm trying to think how this conversation goes. You're like, hey, you know that thing I brought up a couple of weeks ago about us spending the rest of our life together? Have you had a chance to like, run it up the flagpole? <laughs> Awkward. That's why I wouldn't bring it back up because I agree with what Cass is saying. If you are not bringing it back up, to me, that's a no. That is your way of saying, I don't want to tell you no, so take this hint as no and then do what you will with that information. I might even take back my proposal if it was two weeks. Absolutely. I might actually say to her, you know what? Rescind the offer? It, yeah, I'm rescinding the offer that it's been two weeks. You're obviously not comfortable with it, so let's just pretend it never even happened. Go on Amazon and buy that little men in black thing. <laughs> 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 it's never happened. Takes these backsies. Yes. <laughs> all right, so Abby's got the update in email. Thank you all so much for discussing my situation. It helped me realize that if she needed time to think, it's a no or at least a not right now. A few days of thinking would likely not change that. This made me realize that even if she did eventually say yes, the fact that she had to talk herself into it would definitely create some insecurity down the road. That too. It made me think about whether I was truly ready for marriage myself. Cassie's comment in particular struck a chord. She said something like, if you're even considering walking away, you might not be ready for marriage either. It hit me hard because it made so much sense. I realized that maybe I wasn't as prepared for this step as I initially thought. With all these thoughts swirling in my head, I decided to tell her that I had thought more about it and that I wasn't ready either. I admitted to regretting the way I rushed into proposing and I asked her to disregard my proposal entirely. There you go, she pulled it. At first she, she s- it. at first she seemed relieved, but things have been pretty awkward between us since then. I'm starting to wonder if things will ever go back to how they were. Is all this awkwardness temporary? No, nah, it's done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's no, a wrap. Don't even waste another day. It's over. Here is Kim. Kim, good morning. You are on the Bird Show. Hi. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I was listening to this story since I think you started on Friday, and I thought about it over the weekend. And it, something just kept coming into my head that I've always been told. No answer is an answer. Mm-hmm. I agree. 100%. Yeah. That's over. Yeah. Um, um, this is playing out probably just the way it's supposed to. Unfortunately. Yeah. And I, I don't think he really, truly wants to back out of the proposal. I think he's telling himself that because deep down inside your pride is making you feel like, well, maybe I wasn't ready either. But she really wanted that and she ruined it. And it's OK. She would have to have a really good reason to come back two weeks later and say yes, like why it took her so long, because I don't know many dudes that could recover from that. Yeah. When it comes to the rest of your life, if it's not a hell yes, it is a hell no. Mm-hmm. And I just don't think she had the confidence or 
or really like the balls to say hell no. Because I went back and I looked at the email. I'm like, how long were they together? Because he said that he felt like he rushed into it. They've been together a few years. I kind of feel like that's not rushing into it. So I think this is done. Would you even be able to bring up like to propose again? Oh, no. No. God, no. no. <laughs> you got one shot at this. <laughs> no, absolutely. They're done. Mm-hmm. The Burt Show.